On yesterday's video, everybody was like, will the Fordzillas go through the water squad? And I'm like, I don't know. So on today's video, we're going to find out. We're going to do a lot of crazy, unrealistic stuff with the Fordzilla because I figured I didn't do enough stuff. And this is just going to be an off-road adventure. I plan to connect the Fordzilla to the Ripper, to the Case IH Ripper, and see if the Fordzilla can pull like a Case IH quad track. So... I, we, we got a lot of crazy stuff going on. It's nothing, nothing, no shop day. We're not going to be customizing any trucks. We're going to get these four Zillas down and get these babies to work and see what they can actually do and test them. And we're going to, okay, we're going to do that. But first I got two, I got like two different tasks to do. First of all, this semi needs to go on the lift. There's a semi lift in my Ronco custom shop. So I'm going to back this big boy semi on the lift and then lift it up. So we have more space here. Now, dude, when I when I look back and I think about Ronco Customs and how far it's came, like we, oh my gosh, we started with a we started with a pond, just digging a pond and stuff. And it's Ronco Customs has came so far, and it's not because of me at all. It's because of the modding community and the modders that made made me all these mods. I just did a fantastic job. So, and anybody who ever did anything for me on Ronco Customs or in, or on any other mod, just thank you, thank you, because that's it's really what made this series, to be honest. So, I'm going to back this truck up here, if it'll get on here. Okay, what we got to do is we got to inject some roids right now, steroids, which are, of course, illegal, but there's a farm sim mod that allows you to have steroids. Whoop, there we go, and drop her on. Now, I'm going to back this up. Oh, shoot. And when I say steroids, guys, all it is is it's called the lift anything mod. It's not. Don't search steroid mod farm in somewhere, trust me. It's not out there. <laughs> uh... Dude, oh, okay, maybe this isn't gonna work. Oh, there we go. We're on there. Oh, shoot, dude. <laughs> Come on. We're so close to getting this up there. Okay, so I have it on here. Now, I realized I should have went a little wider with the... Uh, I don't know if I, I... It's on there partially here. You know what? I'm gonna try going wider. This might screw it up. So, spread lift platforms. Mm -hmm. Stop. It's good. Okay, I should have, yeah, I should have spread them right away. That lower works perfect now. So now we're going to lift this. I don't know how much the semi and trailer weighs. There's nothing in it, but we're going to lift it up and, <clears throat> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I grabbed the semi. I, I was trying to hit this button, but I accidentally grabbed the semi. Okay, here we go. I don't know. Wait. Uh, okay, I kind of got it up there. It was, it was a little messed up for a little bit, but I partially got it up there. I'm going to mess with this. Oh, I can't move this in my now. Oh, shoot, dude. Oh, okay. This is... Okay, let me lower the lift quick. We got to... Oh, shoot. Is it good? Darn it. Okay, I got to straighten this out. And the easiest way to do it is to use the lift anything mod. Okay, here we go. It's on there. Hopefully, it's smooth this time. Now, what I could do... Here, check this out. So, I didn't think you could get stuff back here. I didn't think you could get this big, long semi back to the top of there. But you can. And I was just... Okay, I got to look down. There we go. So, you can put this all the way up, and this looks like it's going to go up fine. It might not go, I guess it doesn't go all the way. I don't know why it doesn't go all the way up there. But what you could eventually do is hit this platform and raise this, because this raises up all the way to here. And then you could drive the semi across and put it back here. But unfortunately, that didn't go all the way up. I think it's because the semi is just so big, and the trailer itself is so big. Okay, also, somebody want to know what happens if you put a mod under, underneath this concrete. So, we're going to try her out. We're going to try her with the in-game telehandler. I'm going to pull this. <clears throat> I'm going to raise it all the way up. I'm going to pull a telehandler underneath it. And we're just going to smash this thing, dude. I have no idea. This is pushing farm until it is limits. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but I like the ideas coming from that gamma section. Okay, dude. Like I said, this is kind of going to be an unrealistic series, guys. But then we got to get going with the Fordzillas. Okay. Here we go. Three. Two. One. Oh. Oh, shoot. Does it not work? Wait. Lower lift. There we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, dude. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, shoot. It's, oh, my gosh. This has got to be. Oh, dude. I'm going to get demonetized. I'm going to get demonetized. Holy crap. Oh, dude. That was funny, though. That was funny. Um, I want to stick. I'd like to stick like a basketball. What about a toolbox or something? 
Oh my gosh, I gotta figure out something to stick onto there. Why is this so fun and funny? But some people are like, dude, what is this dude doing? I need some object to stick under there. I don't want to take the razor under there. Um, is that a bird? Oh, I'd love to trap a bird under there. Oh, fuel barrel, baby. Okay, I got a fuel barrel. <laughs> what is going to happen to this object? I'm assuming it's just going to do the same thing. But I'm going to stick this under there. We'll see what happens. Um, first, let's move this, this out of the way. I'll toss that barrel. Uh, okay, telehandler is... Oh, shoot. You know what? It might be caught under there. I'm just going to raise this up and we'll see what happens. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is... Man, I should have really saved the game before this because I could be screwing up the shop. Okay. Here we go. This is like... Ah, uh, what's that? There's like people that do this for a living on YouTube. They'll literally just get, buy a shredder. My my roommate was going to try doing this. He bought a $5,000 shredder and was just going to make videos shredding stuff on YouTube. And it's just like... it's. It's pleasing pleasing to the eye. Same with this. Smashing a barrel and farming some layer with a huge concrete slab. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, shoot. I can't see. <laughs> oh, I thought for sure it was going to like put pressure and it was going to go shooting up towards the thing. Okay. We are done. We're done. That was that was fun. We'll do a couple other things. I should do a whole series on that. Um, but we're going to get the Ford Zillas out. I still got to put a razor up in the office. I'm going to get the Ford Zillas out. For some reason, these lifts, when I put these on the lifts... It didn't go like it didn't go crazy high. I it didn't go all the way up, and maybe it's because the Ford Zillas are so big. I guess I'm gonna only get one Ford Zilla out. There we go. Fire this baby up. Now the first thing is obviously we're gonna take her through the pond. People are like, "What is it? What? How's the Ford Zilla doing the pond?" And I I've already taken it through the pond. I got a river down there though that I'm gonna take it through also. And then I also okay. There's so many things I wanna I wanna do with this. Okay, so slowly we're gonna creep through the pond with this Fordzilla. I wish I knew the lit, the height of this thing. Um, I guess the farm sim guy is probably like five foot eye level or five and a, five and a half. This is dude. This is probably five foot tracks on this. You can see I've taken it through the pond already. <laughs> dude, it just crawls through here. It does good. It just does good. Now, once we get mud and farm sim, this thing will do fantastic. I'm excited for it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to turn around one time and I'm going to uh, you see I've already done some of this. I'm going to cr I'm going to crawl this rock, I guess, up here. Now, you guys probably know it does it, but at first it didn't it didn't Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh. She's stuck. Oh, it was stuck for a second. I was full throttle there. Okay, so it's either we go to the river or we hook up to the ripper. I think I'm going to hook up to the ripper. Everybody wanted to see it pulling a trailer. Now, I got to pull a camper yet, too. Speaking of campers, tomorrow's video, we should be getting... Uh, can I tell? I guess I can tell you guys. I oh, don't know. I'm so excited. I want to tell you guys. We're getting a camper with tracks. So that Grizzly Creek camper right there, or back here, but it's going to have tracks on it. And so we'll be able to pull it behind the Fordzilla. <laughs> and we're doing a camping video with a Switch TV and Grill Man, probably. Oh, dude, that's just going to be insane. Too bad we didn't have mud yet. So I'm going to... Uh, dude, I don't know how this is going to work. This is... We need a crate. We need like a four-foot draw pitch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll see if the Fordzilla can pull the ripper. Uh, you can see I cut through here with, uh, I think I cut through here with the skid loader. <laughs> here we go, boys. So let's see what happens. Actually, just so, oh, I guess we already kind of screwed this up. Here we go. I'm going to drop this ripper down. See, like, obviously the discs in the front aren't hitting, but the shanks in the back are, are touching the ground. They'll catch. Like, really, this should be like, we should be popping wheelies with this right now, to be honest. Here we go. <laughs> She's pulling. Four mile an hour. I want to hear the. I can't hear the truck for some reason. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're pulling at two mile an hour right now. Why is the truck so quiet? I'm trying to hear it. <laughs> it's pulling it though. Oh my gosh, dude. I wish you could hear the truck just revving out. I don't know why it's quiet. Maybe because we're only going two mile an hour, and so it just doesn't apply engine noise when you're only doing two mile an hour. <laughs> Dude, okay. Obviously, it's going to be the same thing all the way. I'm going to lift this up. 
Actually, here, let's get some speed, and then we'll do it. Okay. Get 75 mile an hour, and then I'll drop the ripper down. <laughs> this is like breaks. Here we go, baby. Uh, okay, maybe we won't hit 75. We'll just do it at the end of this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to drop her. Now. <laughs> oh, dude. Just goes down to 4 mile an hour. 5 mile an hour. We're holding, we're, we're holding pace right now, though. At 5 mile an hour. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're done. We're done with that. Now, I'm going to drive all the way to the river. I haven't taken this truck down the road yet. You guys haven't seen me taking it down the road because we hauled it. So, I'm going to take... I'm going to... I'm going to go all the way to the river. We'll see what happens in the river. See what this beast can do. Now, the question is, is this even street legal? So, the river is... We'll take a left here. I love the exhaust. I wish it was a little louder on that. That's the only thing. Chop Shop Mods made this. do a fantastic job doing it. Oh, looks like the lawnmower guy still the... He's still getting gas. Oh, my gosh. He, he's always at the gas station, man. The Ford Zilla, baby. There's so many different mods that are coming out that... I got it. He's making a Dodge Zilla. He's making what else is he making? He's making a flatbed, the PJ Gooseneck. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you guys this, but he's making uh, the Gooseneck, the PJ Gooseneck trailer, or no, the Big Tex Gooseneck trailer with tracks. So they'll have tracks on it. It's gonna, it's gonna be insane. Okay, I'm gonna turn off that uh, time, but we should be going to the river soon. And then also, he's redoing a whole the shop for me. The new shop we got, the big, you know, giant one with the lifts. He's doing a whole another paint job on it. And also, okay, I don't know why. I can't hold a secret to save my life. But what he's going to put in it is Eric Church, an Eric Church poster. I'm a big Eric Church, Eric Church fan. Uh, Springsteen, Mr. Misunderstood. Uh, he's, I think it's, I, I don't know if he's known as the Chief. The Chief, but there's a Chief album picture that he's going to put in the shop for me. And it's going to be, it's going to be cool. So we're going to have that in Farm Sim. Now here's the river. <laughs> or stream, whatever you want to call it. I know people are going to be like, yeah, that's, wild. that's a lake, man. Why are you calling it a river? But it's definitely a river here. Um, okay. <clears throat> here we go. Will the Fordzilla make... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, man. This is deep. This is deep. Okay. 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 <laughs> so far, Chop Shop Mom, she's doing her. <laughs> okay, we made it to the island. Now, I don't know if I should be driving down the river with this thing. Oh my gosh, this is like a what? It's a platinum, so it's, it's, this is probably like a... With, oh shoot, okay. Oh, okay, we're backing out, we're backing out. What are the exhausts? We're still good. I don't know where the intake is on this truck. Too bad we didn't have a snorkel on it. But the exhaust, since it's a stack, is all the way up. So we're not getting water down the exhaust. But it's probably going through the engine, the intake right now. Okay, we're going to back out of there. Let's see if we can get across here. This, see, this... I've already been through here. And so, oh shoot. Okay, okay. <laughs> And some spots aren't that deep, other spots, like, that was crazy deep right there. Like, here, I'll probably be able to cross fine. It's probably not that deep. We'll see what happens, though. Oh, shoot. No, we can't get across there. Now, the last thing I want to do, <clears throat> well, there's a couple more things. I, I always want to do something. Is show you guys what it's like with a trailer. Because everybody's, like, connected to a trailer, connected to a trailer, see what happens with a trailer. So, we have a gooseneck, and we have a bumper pull trailer right here. I'll connect it. Now, one thing also I want to do is do a tug of war with this truck. I want to... Actually, this truck is going to have a crazy advantage because what's going to happen is it's so high up, it's going to have like down pressure from the other truck if you do it if you do a bar because it's got the height advantage on the other truck. It, even though you guys might not think height's a factor in FS19 when you do tug of wars, height is a factor how high the, the hitch is. So here we're going to connect it to a bumper pull trailer. Oh, can we connect? Uh, okay, it doesn't look like we can even connect. Let me fold the truck in. Maybe we can connect now. Okay, you know what I got to do is lift it up. <laughs> we don't have a great uh, jack big enough for this. So I'm going to stick it in there. Oh, shoot. No. Hold on. Oh, you know what I should do is I'm going to... I don't know if I can get that on there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that on there. Okay, I'll, we'll do the camper, though. We'll see if this can pull a camper. If it does, we'll pull her back. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's making me a camper for this, so maybe I shouldn't be testing it out. But I really want to test it out and see. Okay. Uh, the, oh, we didn't even line up the best. So I'm going to just oh, drag this up on here. Come on. Lift her up. These campers are heavy, too. It's one thing I've noticed about these. They're extremely heavy. Like, actually made them. And you put weights in these. Okay, it's somewhat, so, 
someone on there. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got the camper connected. Oh my gosh. Okay, here, I can probably do some stuff, adjust the camper so it works a little better. Okay, nope. So you can adjust the, the I guess, the fifth wheel back here. There. We, okay, there we go. And I can adjust the camper height. So I'm going to lift this thing all the way up, put that tailgate in. It's on one axle right now. <laughs> oh, like I said, this is going to be unrealistic, guys. I apologize for those guys who, like, just love uh, realistic roleplay. Oh, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? It'll it'll be cool once we get a tracked camper. Like, imagine when this is, like, raised up to right here, and then you have monster tracks under this camper. You're gonna need, We're going to need big tracks under it, too. It's not going to be these type of tracks. It's going to be different. How do I describe it? It's going to... It's gonna be like grain cart tracks. Yeah, I think he took them from a grain cart. So I'm gonna pull this back while we got her here, just for fun. <laughs> oh, this is, okay. The the truck. I wasn't sure if it's legal, but this is definitely not legal. Pulling down the road, pulling a camper. Um, I should probably put that tailgate up. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this thing has actually a ton of power because usually when I take a normal truck and pull this camper. The normal truck has a tough time even hitting 45, 50 mile an hour. This truck, we were hitting 65 right there. It'll, so I can tell right now, just pulling this camper has a lot of power, but that may be because also only one axle is on the ground. And so like we're holding a lot of weight in the truck, uh, payload, and it may, it may like farm sim style, it might take off some weight of the trailer. It might mess things up. I'm assuming, I don't know. It, or this truck just has a ton of power. <laughs> Like usually I cannot accelerate this fast at all. Now our showroom, our camper showroom is completely full. So this camper is gonna have to go in the back. I basically just got a ton of weird stuff in the back right now. Like it's just, it's uh, it's just all weird stuff. Uh, we, we're kind of full in this, in this lot out here. We have a ton of shed space too. It's just, it's organization. I need to hire somebody to come on here and organize it like crazy. Cause I am not, uh, too crazy of organized person. There we go. Drop the camper. <laughs> oh, that drops all the way. So, what I'm gonna do is put the Fordzilla back, and I'm gonna try to get a razor up into. The, actually, does the Ford? I, I think for now, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna put the Fordzillas in this shop. I'm gonna put them in this. That way, they have their own little nice stall. Right when people pull in, they can see them. I know Chop Shop mods like, what? Why aren't you putting them in there? But. We don't use this at all, so I want to put make some use out of this uh, expendable shop. Then I'm also going to move the other Fordzilla in here too. We'll open up those. And yes, some of you guys have pointed out that there's posters of uh, the Fordzilla here. So what do we all got for posters? I guess I didn't really run through them. There's a red one over here, but this one's two-tone. Yeah, and there's one with tires. I don't know how to get the one with tires. <laughs> Actually, this is a completely different tracked one. Look at that. It's almost got like paddle tracks on it. It's like skid loader tracks on there. But this is uh this is a wheeled one, and I don't know where to exactly get that wheeled one at. Maybe okay, make sure I'm not an idiot and it didn't just come with it. Because I, I am an idiot, but hopefully I didn't make an idiot move here and purchase and uh there might is there tires? No, okay. There's not tires on this one. I was wondering where the tires are. There's not tires on that one. Actually, if we if I can do that oh it's not gonna work i was gonna i was gonna put that fordzilla up in the office up there but it's because there's a there's a <clears throat> uh a, a truck left over there to put to put vehicles up in the office area over there so i'm gonna put something in there it's gonna be the razor though by the way i do apologize everybody always wants to know where to get these mods right now the fordzilla a lot of mods can be found on mod hub or mod mod network but the, right now the fordzilla in this whole shop is private <clears throat> It's not because I, I want to keep it private. It's because the creator himself uh, just wants to fully finish everything before he releases it. I'm not sure if he's going to release it, but that's usually what most mod creators like to do. But I usually get stuff a little ahead of time to show off and have some fun with. So, Razor on platform. Now I'm going to jump on the platform. We're going to raise it up, and now I can put it in the office to show to everybody up here. Or the waiting room, I guess. I, I can put a couple other trucks in here, too. <laughs> And we could just leave a truck up on this platform. But there we go. We got a razor upstairs. <laughs> People think laps upstairs that they want. We lower the cement slab. 
And guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now, tomorrow morning, we should have a video coming out and it's going to be uh, it's going to be camping with the Fordzilla and hopefully with the camper with tracks, which will be insane. We'll get some TV. We'll get girl man there. It'll be it'll be one of our best videos. So thanks for watching, guys. And hey, I'll see you later. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic weekend. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic night. Thanks for watching, guys.